All right, a beautiful Thursday morning to every single person out there from the east, west, north, and the south, wherever it is you might be watching us from. You're welcome back. You're welcome to your show, our show, the greatest show on this part of the globe. They call it Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, the only station in the whole world where they speak it as it is. The biggest and the truest stories live here. Now, my name is Miles, the eighth wonder of the world, and I will be your host for the next 50 or 55 minutes or thereabout. And let's just have fun together. Today's Thursday, uh, Throwback Thursday, and one of my one of my favorite days of the week because we get to go back in time and listen to some really old songs and just learn one or two things from way back, right? I never do this alone, by the way. I have my very amazing and interesting personality, ha. Timbang, Kaliba Woman, or Garanya herself, ah. the ring leader, the click leader, you the form it. coordinator. You got it. I got it, man. Who are you, man? Elijah's in the building. How are you doing, mama? I'm good. Let me do my, um, I found a new... Oh, you um, have? Yes, ma'am. This should be interesting. So, cool. my name is Y to, uh, sorry, U to the Y to the I to the M, a.k.a. Ogaraya herself. Well, you do yes. know, you do know what Ogaraya means, right? Yes. What does it mean? Rich. It means rich. Yes. Okay, is it that you are speaking it into existence or you already are rich and you're telling people like, look, if you need money, I can help you? No, I'm speaking it into existence. I'm like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's yes. all good. <laughs> It's all good. Uh, you can also be part of the conversation by calling in on 0909 408 408. The numbers will appear on your screen just in a bit. Then you can be part of the conversation and contribute to everything and anything we might be talking about today on the show. Please, you do not want to miss the show. It promises to be uh, loaded and interesting. Now, let's get to some videos that caught our attention. There are always some videos that we just see and like, hmm, what kind of video is this? It always catches our attention. So we just go into all these videos uh, and we bring it out here. We talk about it, we analyze it, and let's see the first. All right, welcome back to the show. It's still T-Tab of Plus TV Africa. Uh, that is very interesting and very funny, funny to watch, right? But at the same time, let's actually talk about this. How do you discuss or tell somebody or explain to somebody like, Sir, Ma, you have an unpleasant uh, odor coming out of your body. How do you tell somebody in the workplace uh, and at a family ga gathering? How do you tell people that? How do you? Ex is it going to sound rude? Like I, there are people we work with and we know that they have such problems yeah. and such situations, and we can't even tell them so that they won't feel offended. How do you? How do you discuss this with people? I think the best way to tell people that okay, they have um, body odor is just surprise them with. A roll up ah. or something. Now I remember back then in school during um, oh. Valentine and all those, you know, birthday and also there's this particular girl in school. People know her very well to always have, and she's big. And people on the big side they tend to um, lose their loss because they have folds and all. Oh, yes. Why? How? Seriously? Because of folds now they have folds okay. I'm, I'm and, with you. and all those things. So that's why they keep telling um, this thing like plus size people that. Learn to like scrub well when okay. you're bathing and all. Okay. So there's this but there's this girl. She has um odor and all. Hundred um, ninety nine percent of the gifts she got that day were body spray, body spray, roll, roll on, on and perfume. Body and mist, body so scrub. nobody even need to tell her that okay, babe, you have. She got. She understood the message. What if some people take so, that really personally and they just don't? They say, what What do you mean? And start getting upset. I've had a conversation with somebody okay. in the workplace before, mm -hmm. and it's, it, didn't, it, didn't, it, didn't, it didn't come out well. I actually had to drag the guy to the corner, like, guy, I want to have a conversation with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, this, and this, and this is what I know. She says, why don't you invest a little bit into so, 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 and so, like, it's like what, what, what does that even mean? Please, you think you're better than anybody? I was like, I'm so sorry. Wow. I, like, I'm sorry. This, I just feel like you should know, because mm -hmm. it's making a lot of people uncomfortable. Maybe they have not told you, but I'm going to tell you. And it, it didn't go down well at all. The thing is, people don't want to hear the truth. Me, for me, I just feel like buying, just buying it and just give, just give it to them. Okay. Anyhow, they want. When are not finishing? Because best not buy again. That's yeah. You shut down your bits. Do. Yes. Do. You have. All right, cool. So I don't know how you guys would do it or how you make that happen. How do you tell somebody or discuss with somebody or have that conversation with somebody? Like you have a unpleasant smell coming out of your body or let's be or let's put it that way. Yeah. How do you tell somebody? How do you do that? How you? I don't know. It's, it's it's hard, but yeah, you can you can hard. share some ideas with us on zero nine zero nine eight four zero eight four zero eight and let us know uh, what you think. Let's move on to another video that caught our attention real quick. Uh, let's let's start with the very first clip, right? Mm -hmm. There are some people who have drama issues in their life. They just and I'm one of the people. There's 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 a man behind my 
<laughs> estate. I won't mention his name. Okay. He's in my estate, but the next uh, up, uh, building, right? The next compound. And him himself and his wife, when they start, I'm sure everybody in the neighborhood just goes to their window like, these people don't start don't again. Start again. What yeah. is it? Can't you guys just keep your voices down? Like, most they know that, oh, that's a, that's a drama couple, or that's a drama house, that's just some people like that. Once they open their mouth, da, da, this person don't come. There's, there, there used to be a colleague of mine here mm. that once that person opens their mouth, you just, ah, you're naive. <laughs> you don't start again. Everybody just gathers, like, okay. Yeah, I get. So, even if they're going to know you for stuff, eh, let people know you for the right things. Not all every time drama. So, once they want, when you do open your mouth to give some drama, they know that, okay, this drama is worth the drama. But I think in a neighborhood, it's good to have people like that. At when? least, what's, you know, there are times whereby the whole place will just be boring. Watch so TV, when read you, a book, go, go people, online. <laughs> when you have people like that, it makes you like, okay, you want, yeah, yeah, like, so you are doing Google, you are doing Apuruko, but no concern you. Because I do it a lot. Even my dog, my, my previous dog that died, uh, Zeus, do, Zeus is always at the window looking, like, what's going on? Any small noise, that dog will climb chair. Yes, like, sir. You need, you, need, you need such dramas around you. Just to just keep you entertained. Yeah, anyways, moving away from that, what about the, the fact that dogs are now singing to Thames' song? Thames That's are, weird, though. Oh, <laughs> like, Thames, 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 That's has, weird. Thames has crossed... It, it, she has crossed away from just humans now. She's actually now in the animal kingdom. In the animal kingdom. And the animals are now vibing to her song. Each time that song comes on, you see the, the way they just... It's like, oh, okay. I think there's another particular um, singer, too, that anytime they play... Um, his, yeah. I think yeah, his song, they also vibe along to it. It's so funny how you see dogs, they tend to... It's so funny how you see animals. You'll be shocked what animals... Okay, animals or they, yeah. feel, they feel emotions too. They feel things too. They understand... Not especially dogs. They, yeah, especially dogs, chimpanzees. They feel stuff wow. a lot. Monkeys. They feel a lot of things too. They feel emotions. So mm, when they act some certain way, I say, I understand how you're feeling. Look, don't worry. If a, if a human can feel that way. And they feel... That the one that dogs do the most, they can get depressed. Yeah. Like it, this. It, yeah, true. They just get depressed. Like, like what is wrong? Why are you depressed this the money again, sure. right? Sure. Anyways, let's set a video to call our attention, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Welcome back to the show. So, Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Um, which one do we follow? Confused traffic lights in the country. This particular traffic light is just by the roadside. I think you want to go to. Oh, you know where it is? Yes. No, not this one. Like, there's a traffic light like this along the road. I think you want to, like, um, go to um, this way. It's okay, very, so, so it's very confusing. in this situation now, which one do we follow? What if I follow the one who say that's blinking green and I just go, whereas it's blinking red and the authorities stop me mm -hmm. and I start saying all kinds of stuff? How do we manage this situation? Hey, just go now. This, it, it, like, from the video, you can see that the traffic light is not working because it's just blinking. You just go. I'll just go. Oh, very good. I, mean, I don't know. There's there's one around that Oshodi Road, right? Mm -hmm. When you get there, if you get there around six a.m. in the morning, it's solar powered, so there's no there's no okay. lights light. to power it at that time. There's no a sun, so it's just day or red, or red until maybe the sun starts coming out a bit before it starts working. Yeah, so the out. first time I, I that thing happened to me, I, I was waiting. I waited. People were just passing. Me. I waited. I was waiting. Somebody now after a while, somebody now honks like, "Guy, it's solar power. It hasn't started working. Go your own." I wait. I wait. People just pass. Ah, I don't want to break the rule. I don't break the law. <laughs> let me just let me just do that. Oh yeah, God, yeah. that's some. So this kind of situation. Yeah, I'll just drive because. Like you can see that it's not working. So. Anyways, let's move away from that and let's move into the gist for today. So it's Throwback Thursday and I just want to share something with some people out there. Now, do you know the uh, airphone jacks? Mm -hmm. The airphone jack, mm -hmm. which is gradually, uh, it's gradually going extinct. People are, not, people are not really using it anymore because some are using Bluetooth now. There are Bluetooth all over the place. Uh, even some iOS devices, it's not airphone jacks they use anymore. So airphone jacks are gradually going extinct. So the airphone jacks, it has three different lines. I'm sure you see it now. The iPhone has three different lines. Okay. Oh, wow. I forgot that we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't have access to GFX right now. Now, you see those three different lines. They all mean something differently, but people don't know. Now, if you have an iPhone jack that has just one line on it, one just have one line, one line. it means mono. mono. That means you can only hear sound from one. You can only say one particular sound on both sides. Wow. One sound. They, they have just one particular one sound on both sides of the ears. Now, the ones that have the two, it's called stereo. Yeah. Those ones, they have two different sounds. So when you're ha having a feel from this side, you have yeah. a different feel. So together, they have a different, different nice yeah. mix balance together, right? And it sounds really cool. Now, if you have one that now has a third one, the third line, what, what do you think that means? Um, sleeve. 
Eh? The sleeve. The sleeve. The third one now. What does it mean? The sleeve. Why? <laughs> the sleeve. Maybe I was. The third one. If you have, if you not have the one that had the third, if you had the one that had the third uh, line, that third black line on there, it means your that your earphone, that particular earphone, also has a mouthpiece. That means you can actually use it for mm, also. Oh. Once you see the third one, it's for the, it's for the mouthpiece. That also, means, not every earphone is for um, answering calls. No, not all, not oh, all. So if you don't was, see that, that thing on it. on your jack, mm. just now you can't receive calls with this one. You with can't take one. calls with this one. Wow. But if it has a third one, mm. then we can receive and take calls. Oh. So. Yeah. Now that you know, now that, now when, I know. when you are when you are purchasing your those for those of you who still use those things, yeah, you are purchasing sure. it. I, I don't do I don't do that. I don't do jack any. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes, now I use original earphone. Okay, <laughs> let's move into the stories for today, real quick. Um, the very first story today is by it's from the House of Drama before we would know, which is not drama, no, Churchill. Mm -hmm. Now Churchill is a businessman who. Uh, was married to Tonto Dedeke at some point. And there's been stories all over the place that or himself and his wife, oh, they're having problems. That's Rosie. Mm. They're having problems and they're going their ways. And Tonto Dedeke was really happy about this when she saw this. Uh, she said, ah, my God has always been fighting for me. So Churchill comes out now and he posts a video of himself, his wife, and his, his son, son going on vacation. Now, businessman Olafunle Churchill has shared a video of his wife, Rosie, and their son traveling to Paris for vacation. He shared a video uh, barely 24 hours after Rosie shared the same video. The couple posted the video and missed unconfirmed reports that their marriage is in crisis. Now, under the comment sections of that particular stuff, I went there and some people said, uh, this is an old video, that your child, your son is older than this now. That this is an old video. Why you guys shared over that? You guys are going through... My problem with this is, I don't care what anybody's going through, that people go through stuff, it's life. What is people's problem? Why is everyone just looking for, possible posted a video recently, mm -hmm. right? That, I think it was this morning. The video, he said, bloggers, why are you guys quick to pick on everything that is negative? Who is dating who? Whose marriage is failing? Why is that, that's what excites you people these days? Why is... Why are you not talking about people's successes more? Why is ah this person is doing this, this person has done that, or this person is doing this wrong? Why is it all the negativity? I said the ne negativity. negativity. <laughs> <laughs> That's where. Yeah. Anyway, so why is it negativity that people are just putting out? They just want to that that sells more. Now these guys are come out to say we are good. Whatever you guys are saying, we're good. But my another thing is like, why even respond at all in the first place? You, that's why we have online in-laws, right? Why, you, why we, even respond at all in the first place? Why don't you just leave them to, okay, that's what you guys think. Goodness good. and mercy will follow you. Like, even when Banky W and Aditya Itomi had their own crisis, when it was said that Banky had a relationship with Niola, mm. uh, initially they didn't say anything, but only for Pastor Banky to go to church on Sunday. And he started saying, this woman right here, even not for this woman, my life, like, we, we get it. You're trying to explain to the world that nothing's going on. We get it, but you don't have to. You don't necessarily have to respond to everyone. The thing is, once you start putting your business out there, trust me, once your business is in the public, you will have yeah, to... Yeah, and, and once you, you are, have to once you're updated or you have married Tonto Dike at any point, yeah. No, aside your, from... Your business will be out there. <laughs> aside from um, Tonto Dike and all, right. in general, once your business is in the public, trust me, you will have to... Your business will keep on getting like your business to keep on being out there because you keep, no, keep yeah it will keep blooming. <laughs> no, no matter how you try to be private enough right. it will still get out there and all so um for bloggers always carry negative um this thing we all know that negative news sells faster huh. than but why is though than why good news, why is that though why than good news so i honestly speaking i really don't know and i think that's like a business that's like their People, to drive to engage yeah, to, to get yeah, engagement and drive traffic to the exactly. platforms because and all. if they are always giving people I, I feel like people just like drama. They just want to see like they, they then they like, should go and watch movies or watch tinsel or watch something. Movies, watch movies, by movies, movie or movies something. Are stage. Movies they are uh, following scripts. They want that uh, raw one like um uh, keeping up with the edoches, like edoche, the hair, yeah, something okay. like that, Tonto Dike and all and even keeping yeah. up with the edoches is not scripted, so what are you saying? Okay, okay, okay. Toto DK now, you know that she's giving us back to back. She's always, you know, bringing, like, giving us mass balls up and down. So, that one, we all know that it's not scripted. So, we just love drama. We want to see, like, so that we'll just be laughing. And she that's does. Said, we have online I do not. And, all. and um, concerning the comment section where people were saying... Um, it was an old video. Yes, it's true. I actually agree. Oh, wow. Yes. 
So you think, okay, but if it's it, just doing if it that, to just you know, in your lab, um, bad mouth. I think she posted something concerning mm, both them, of them. They are yeah. fine. They are okay. Nothing's going on with them. Man, I just feel like they are just trying to do damage control. Yes. But why are they trying to do well anyway? So whatever this is going on in their lives, since they have come out to post a positive, a positive video, mm -hmm. everybody should just leave them alone and yeah. let them just be. They're yeah, fine. Sure. They're doing well. Yes, marriages, relationships, uh, friendship, partnerships, uh, organizations, they all have issues and problems. Yeah. And they will solve it and sort it at the end of the day. So everybody should just take a chill pill and let these people be. Now let's move away from that. Let's go to uh, a guy that used to be one of the hottest and biggest uh, reality uh, TV host in Nigeria, Joseph Benjamin, mm. has resurfaced. He's back in he's, ba he's back in our faces right now. He granted an interview with Teju Babyface face recently, and he had this to say. Now, uh, actor Joseph Benjamin has opened up on seeking uh, succor in the cap industry after relocating to the United States of America with the hopes of breaking into Hollywood. He recounted how his hopes were dashed by someone who promised to get him gigs in the global movie scene. The 46-year-old recalled selling his cars and practically gifting out his other belongings with high expectations when he got to the United States, but was dashed was dashed two days after he arrived with only one hundred one thousand five hundred dollars in his possession. Discussing with Teddy Babyface on his comedy podcast King of Talks, uh, Benjamin noted he had to settle for the life of an Uber driver after church members after a church member gave him a car, and with the proceed he was able to pay his bills. Now he further went. He said when he got to the United States, mm -hmm. according to him. So when he got to the United States, uh, that uh, the person had promised him, oh, that some people are going to find, they're, they're going to go into business together, this, that, 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 that. He was really excited that when he got there, uh, they showed him the house. The house was really nice, well furnished and everything, and blah. And only for the person to come back two days after, like, oh, the guys who are supposed to be bankrolling us, financing us, has pulled out. They're having issues. So from, started from next month, you have to start paying the rent for this house by yourself. And he was like, ah, how? He said, now, during that period, people were already calling him. Like, guy, uh, we have a role for you. We have a gift for you in Nigeria. Come back, blah, 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 blah. You know, he, he relocated after uh, Project Fame ended. Mm. So he had to be like, okay, let's, let me go look for green pastures abroad. And he said all he had was just $1,500. And it wasn't even enough to get him ticket money to get back because he bought a one-way ticket. Money. It wasn't enough to get him ticket money back to Nigeria. So he had to stay. And a church member gifted him a car and he started the Uber business now. Joseph Benjamin is a big boy, a big brand in Nigeria. If I'm going to ask you and maybe people out there now, mm -hmm. if it was you, would you stay back in the United States of America and do your cab work and be, just be managing your life or come back to Nigeria where you're already established and known and come and continue your celebratory lifestyle? Honestly speaking, I'll come back to Nigeria. In the first place, I wouldn't have even moved out of Nigeria. Do you get? The thing is, everybody just feels like going abroad is... Like you're going to paradise, uh -huh. you know, go and uh, walk, you know. See, things outside is really very tough mm. than what is inside here because Nigeria is quite Nigeria. We don't really, we are just honestly, we are chilling. We are, wait, wait, eh? no, we are. What part of Nigeria do you live? No. I really need to. No, be part of you this what I'm no, I don't. That's now. what I'm trying to understand. In Nigeria, we, the, the kind of tax, you know, over there, they pay for every single thing. Okay, you mean taxes do. and all? Yes. Okay. That's why one person has over five jobs from one job to another. Yes, now because they need to, like, pay. Um, they, they have so many bills they need to pay and all. We have bills to pay here. But so. in like, how many bills do we have to pay? Uh, water bill, car bill, electricity bill, rent, security bill. Uh, what else? And so many other. But it's not. Bills. It's not. It's not as high as um, in who? the abroad. It is not. Yeah, well, actually, it is not. not. So, I mean, how, many, how many people even pay taxes? In Nigeria? Exactly. How many, how how many, many people? people we've seen. We've seen news of um, tax people. Um, calling out um, celebrities, calling out people, come and pay your tax and all those things. But here, in, but over there, nothing like that. Do you get? So everybody has seen. Honestly speaking, I'll just stay in Nigeria all and right. grow my brand. What do you guys think? If you can't get through to the phone lines, you can also send us a message on our social media platform. What do you think? Will you take? Uh, will you continue as a celebrity that you are? Will you continue your the cab driving business in the United States of America and just chill down until things uh, things balance out or Will you just return to Nigeria as a celebrity that he already is really in Nigeria and, and just continue to live your lifestyle? Um, he said it took a while. According to him, he said it took a while for him to be able to get himself back together. He said, but now things are 
balancing out gradually and he's getting better and things are working, but not as much as it would have worked for him when he was if he was still in Nigeria. So he should for me he should just relocate back to Nigeria. Why? He's, he already has a platform here. He has, he has a fan base. Yes, he has a now, platform so here, he should just return back to Nigeria. I, I feel at that time he left. Thing. I feel at that mm. time he bought everybody with their own. Not only God knew the kind of um, business he wanted to go and establish there with the people he wanted to yeah. establish with. But at that time he left, he just started blooming in the industry. He should have just stayed. Stay. Yeah, Project Fame ended at that time. That doesn't, that doesn't mean his career had ended. Uh, Frank Edoho was doing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire for so long, and he was, one of, he was a major face, and he was doing extremely well. Project um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire shut down, went down, went down for years, for and years. Frank was doing so many so other many things, things, and it was still yeah. very much relevant to the industry. Sure. When they came back with another sponsor as for the, for the, for the same franchise, mm -hmm. they had to reach out back to the back side, that to same business, like, guy, we are back. And we want you back to on it. And he's back there doing his thing now. So, yeah, I think he should have stayed. Yeah, so he should have stayed. I, I actually, think he should have yeah. stayed. Anyways, before we go on a quick break, there's this particular video that has been trending all over social media right now. And it's about the fuel subsidy removal. A man blows hot as the fuel attendant mistakenly fills his tank up. Oh. As in, she just put fuel, full tank. Now, this, you know, let's see the video first. Do you know how much... Full a full tank is okay. Let me even start with my vehicle. I don't know about every a lot of people. My vehicle's full tank is forty two thousand naira and maybe a little bit forty two grand. Now he buy. <laughs> who's to, who's to blame here? Are we are we to blame the fuel attendants or should we blame the man? And how is he supposed to pay for this? That's why I demand the man say I did not ask for this thing. We should blame the fuel attendants. I feel like she did that on purpose. What? Did, how, how would she do that on purpose? Did she? I'm sure the man would have told him like, oh, I want X Y Z amount. Uh huh. And she told her rather. Yeah. The, the thing is, he had already communicated to her. I want maybe ten thousand naira. And you know how? You know most of these people they are very nonchalant about their work. They just do things anyhow. So maybe she could have had another motive. And honestly speaking, I don't blame the man for shouting because. So what is it? What, what is he supposed to do that? What are the options now? There are so, th these are the options. Number one, he leaves his car there. Or no, well, number one, he pays. Mm -hmm. Bam, here's your money. Go. Which I'm sure he might not mm -hmm. have it on him at that point. Maybe that's why he's so upset. Mm -hmm. Number two, he has a conversation with the manager. They exchange numbers, and he finds a way to pay gradually. Number three. They drain the fuel mm -hmm. out of the tank, but which by now they might not. They might, they might say, "No, you have entered your tank. We don't want to get." If I'm, if I'm the judge for, if, if I'm, if I'm to be the judge for right. this particular case, right? Now everybody has a budget for everything. Yes, so you get. Everybody has a budget. Now, if they bring this case to me, you know what I'll do? Mm -mm. I will tell the manager to remove. The, I'll tell the man to pay for the amount he told he, he the fuel. He said he to, do you uh, get then? I'll now tell the manager to remove the remaining money from the fuel attendant's Why salary. Why are you like this? That that is actually wickedness. How much does the fuel? How much does the fuel attendant? How much do you think they make? Fifteen k. Like if they're going to let me see, well, fifteen, fifteen. Maybe that's like two months' salary. Some make ten thousand. Some make fifteen thousand per month. So if it's one of those filling stations that they make ten thousand per month. Mm -hmm. So like for. Two, three months or four months, he or she is still paying. Hey. Yes, now. Because, assuming the man did not say... But what if it was the man's fault? What if the man didn't say exactly what he wants? And he just, no, there's no how you go to... Right, a, yeah, right, there's no how. Right. Uh, uh, there's no how you go to a feeling. I, I follow my mom to the but feeling. But that's big feel. Like, I feel, for, I feel for the man and I feel for the attendant at the same time. But in this time, anybody that is buying food tank <laughs> in your neighborhood, let me, just, let me tell you this. If you find anybody in your area or your neighborhood or around you or your work environment that is buying food tank, Please save yourself the, the wahala and the embarrassment when the FCC comes. Go and report the person now. The person is, is deep. Uh, it's not that deep, deep now. It's not that it's deep. deep. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. No, it's not that it's deep. deep. It's not deep. It's, it's deep. <laughs> Even there, there's one of my colleagues here, Mr. Femi, is in the MCR. He buys full tank every time. That one, uh, I've, already, I've already sent his report oh, out. His I've report. already told them. So that, just in case, they did they come, come and carry him? I will not be beside him that day. Now carry us together. <laughs> Me, I used to buy full tank. Mr. Femi. Uh, it, eh? mm -hmm. Every time it will be spinning say I'm more sure. And you say we we come to more sure rack free I bought some time. I don't I don't do small small things. Who tank things? Anyway, let's go for a quick music break, ladies and gentlemen. It's through back Thursday. Let's listen to some old song, old yet golden song, and we'll be back in a bit.